Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Young men are being totally raked over the coals in this culture by the high-powered engines of radical feminism. The feminist extremists, which include some men and their men are despicable philosophy, occupy the high ground in every institution, largely because they have played the victim card to perfection. They control the education establishment, the media, the entertainment world, the courts, and even the various religious bodies. And they have done this by taking aim squarely at authentic masculinity. So today, older boys and younger men dance to the music of feminist rage, not to mention quite a few older males as well, who still knew better back in the bra-burning days of the 1960s. The masculine, authentic masculinity, has become so belittled and denigrated that boys do the easiest, laziest, gratifying thing available and simply retreat into video games and pornography and are drugged up by the feminazi-controlled education system, which diagnoses one in seven, pay attention to that statistic, one in seven American boys as having ADHD and then writes them a script for Ritalin, a powerful mood-stabilizing drug merely for being boys. The scourge of the church in the past 50 years has been the lack of the authentic masculine, because an effective authentic masculinity would never have allowed this highly charged, destructive, radical feminism to emerge and kill the men. Last week, for example, at Georgetown University, Hillary Clinton gave a speech. She gives a speech there about once a week. She strode up to the podium in her pantsuit and strongly suggested that women are better at foreign policy and governing than men are. They are better at building coalitions, she said, and reaching consensus more than men, she said. Apparently, she's never heard of Queen Elizabeth I or Mao Zedong's wife. During the University of Virginia frat rape story, which has turned out to be much more fantasy than reality, the feministas were tripping all over themselves on various TV outlets, breathlessly denouncing men in high drama, again pushing the victim angle, actually saying women are the objects of hate. So, where are all the men? We see idiot men in TV commercials and sitcoms. We see serial killer men in movies. We see sex-crazed men in music videos. And we see effeminate men in religious realms. But where are the real men? Well, they've been sidelined because strong, authentic men, meaning those who try to imitate and follow our blessed Lord, are an obstacle to the weak, effeminate, emotion-saturated high dudgeon of radical feminism. And it is precisely this that must be fought against. Shrill, radical, destructive feminism must be confronted by confident, authentic masculinity, which means it must be developed, coached up, and trained. All this week here, we've been revealing to you new things, all things new that we have and are doing here at churchmilitant.tv in conjunction with our sister organization, St. Michael's Media. Monday, we told you about the additional building just 41 seconds away that was graciously and generously donated to us. Yesterday, we gave you a peek at the nearly completed all-new studio we've been working on since the summer. It's almost complete, but in need of just that final push. Today, we are introducing to you a new mentoring program we are calling our PAUSE program. In the new year, we'll be unveiling more of the details, but it's our effort to try and fight back against the culture of anti-authentic masculinity and the culture that is enthralled with it. We've been sitting back for quite a while talking about this and thinking about it and tooling it around and observed that the two main weapons Satan has used superbly, each in conjunction with the other in tandem, is the media and the destroyed sense of the masculine. So, we're going to be launching this pilot program to bring aboard four young men, roughly college-aged, who are willing to put their lives on pause for a year, hence the name of the program, Pause. These young fellows will recognize the need to develop strong men and give them a chance to grow with us in both virtue and media training. 
We will begin the application and selection process early next year and have many more details at that time available for you. But for now, we wanted to just share with you that this is our plan, a plan we've recognized a need now for quite some time. There are all sorts of practical concerns to consider beyond the more noble goals of helping young serious men prepare to tackle a culture waiting to eat them alive. We need to think of housing and furnishings and a host of daily on the ground realities as well as the additional computers and software and so forth that will be needed to get all of this up and running. This is one of our goals for this coming year that we're appealing to you for your help with. The counterattack against the culture must be an all out daily broad based assault and in order to accomplish that there need to be shock troops strong unwavering ready to dedicate themselves to the struggle regardless of the cost for themselves the battle is the spiritual warfare which must be fought but also trained and prepared for few apostolates are positioned as church TV and st michael's media to launch such an effort because we go toe-to-toe -to -toe every day with the culture of evil and radical feminism that has invaded the church and laid waste to souls. Not only do we fight it, as many other faithful Catholic apostolates do, but we have been blessed to be given the tools and the know-how to broadcast the struggle and expose the lies and the enemy to many Catholics who would remain otherwise in the dark. We want to bring on board young men, young dedicated men, and have them take a pause from their current life plans for a year to train for war. We'd like your help in accomplishing this goal because we feel this kind of work must be done. It isn't enough to just tell people what's going on. You also have to do something about it. As we said, it's one of the reasons we've developed our All Things New campaign for you to be able to assist us as we work together in battling this fearsome enemy, and it is fearsome. Until we got the building donated to us that we showcased to you on Monday's Vortex, this plan wasn't really possible because we simply didn't have the physical space. But now, with the new additional building and the numerous new duties in our new studio, this all of a sudden has come at the perfect time. So, can you please help us advance this great master plan to fight back, to strike back and help prepare others to do so as well? Just please click on the link or go to churchmilton.tv slash donate. Your initial contribution to the PAUSE program will help us move things along and make all the necessary preparations to launch this exciting effort. We're hoping that this pilot program of four boys, four guys, will expand to more men in the next few years, as well as become a model of sorts to launch an initiative for young women's programs as well. Picture it a steady stream of young adult Catholics properly formed in virtue and the faith with hands-on daily experience in the most exciting faithful Catholic internet media venture on the planet, ready to go into the culture and fight back. Oh yeah, it's about time. Please help us bring this to reality. It can be done. Please just click on the link. Tomorrow, a whole new look for one of our most popular shows, Around Church Militant these days, it is a case of all things new. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.